Hey, what's up guys? It's Herbivore Beauty. Welcome back to my channel. I am building my vegetable garden today. Um, everything is ready to go outside. I just need to eat first, but I wanted to show you guys basically how I built my little garden bed and also how I just fill up everything, so stay tuned. So I'll show you guys all of my seeds in a minute, but I'm just gonna show you my bed. Um, so I just picked up the wood from Home Depot. I only got like one 16 foot plank and I just got that cut into four. So my bed is a four by four and I was planning on making it at least like five by five because I do have a lot of things I wanna plant. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it like this just because it's kind of late into the spring. So I might, um, like it might just make more sense to plant less things. I'll show you everything I'm gonna plant as well because I got quite a few fruits and vegetables. But um, as of right now, I'm just gonna scrape everything up, all the weeds and stuff, so I can put some soil and compost on top and start planting. pretty well um, since it's gonna be a raised bed I definitely don't have enough soil but I have enough to start so I'm gonna start filling it up right now um, I just need to go grab something to open them up properly this is the kind of soil I got it's like an organic um, vegetable and herb mix and I got like four or five of these guys probably tell it definitely needs a bit more soil so I'm gonna pick some up later but I'm gonna start planting my seeds so to start off I have some organic tomato seeds and I also have some lettuce and I couldn't find any organic kale so I just got regular I think it's I don't know if it's black kale or not it doesn't say so I guess it's just regular kale um, I got some cilantro, watermelon, and cucumbers. I know the watermelon's definitely gonna go like crazy. Um, at my old house back when I was like really young, we had a watermelon plant and the vines just took over like our whole backyard. So it might do the same. I don't think our box is big enough to keep it contained. But um, so I'm gonna start planting only a couple of those. So we'll see how that goes and then I'm just gonna water everything and that is it.
until this day, I have never seen kale seeds. So I just wanted to show you guys how weird. Like I never would have expected them to look like this. so many times before I really started to um, get into starting my own vegetable garden and that's mostly because I'm not sure if we're moving or not next year so I'd be at like very much of a point to start a garden and then have to like take everything out and restart it but honestly like I really wanted to start one I wanted to grow my own vegetables and not have to worry about all the gross things they put in vegetables in the grocery stores and it's farmers market season and I'd really love to just have my own vegetables as well as getting my things from the farmers market um, also too like I know I'm gonna be traveling a lot uh, soon so I just wanted to start it now since I know for sure I'm gonna be here for at least most of the summer so I'll be able to like reap in the benefits and then during the winter months I'll be gone and I'll be back again in the summer so it just made sense for now and I'm happy I decided to start it and I 100% recommend like it was super easy as I said before with making our raised garden bed um, um, I literally just bought one plank of wood um, I got it cut at Home Depot and they cut like three cuts for free so it was perfect and so I got that um, I got my dad to just nail it together and it seems like really sturdy actually I have um, a cedar plank and I made sure that it was a food grade one so that all the chemicals that they um, treat wood with doesn't like leach into my vegetables so I definitely recommend you look into that if you're looking to start your own bed and yeah that's pretty much it um, the only reason why I didn't buy my own garden bed like one that was already pre-made so I can get like really cute like raised ones was just because they were really small and I wouldn't be able to put all of my seeds in there as well as like it wasn't worth the price at all it was like 80 bucks for a little tiny bed that was not even half the size of what I have so it just it didn't make sense for me to get one of those when we could just make our own for probably l less than a quarter of the price so I'm happy I decided to do that and thank God that the weather has been really amazing so I've been able to um, plant everything and want to be outside to do all of this so that's been pretty great oh yeah also I'm not sure if I answered this before but the reason why my garden bed is sitting in the middle of my backyard is because the fence over here blocks the light half the time so there it barely gets any Sun if I put it against this fence and the same if I put it against this fence um, as you can see like this it usually goes about like this far up um, like of shade the most of the day so it never really gets a consistent um, I guess I don't know shining of Sun for the day and I wanted to make sure that my plants did get Sun and if I put it against any fence around here it's just not gonna get any at all so it's going in the middle of my backyard and nobody really cares just because I'm the only one who really comes out here so it's okay to everyone else okay guys so that is pretty much it I have done everything I needed to do um, I'm just hoping like we shouldn't get any frost or anything um, it's cl nearing mid-may which means that like hopefully it, there won't be any below zeros um, it might get close but I don't think it will um, it's supposed to be like plus 25 for the next few days so that is good news for my plants I'll keep you guys updated maybe in my what it, what I eat in the days and like different food tutorials but we shouldn't see much progress until the next couple of months I'm thinking uh, just because I was looking at the date ranges and a lot of them won't be ready until August especially like the watermelon and stuff like that so fingers crossed for everything else and I'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching and I hope you all enjoyed make sure you check out my social media and send me a message leave me a comment do whatever you feel and I will see you guys in my next video bye